Welcome to Kids Cove News. We are so glad that you are here with us today. We have some very special birthday this week. Happy birthday to Splendor. And happy birthday to Reese. And happy birthday to Madison. Happy birthday, friends. Kids Worship and Wiggle Worship are working hard on their Christmas musical. Come and join them on Sunday night at 5.30 p.m. And we are having a ton of fun on Wednesday nights too in Awana. I think we have some of our teams that are close to earning a pizza party already for their class. Join us for scripture memory, worship, and fun and games on Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. Yes, I know we will be there and hope to see you. Fall Fest is coming up on October 31st at 6 p.m. You do not want to miss this amazing night at First Dallas. Come and enjoy a night full of fun with free candy in every room, games in the gym, inflatables, or new Kids Go Family Farm laser tag, mm -hmm. face painting, and so much more. And you can't forget about the cakewalk and the bubble house and the preschool sensory experience. There will also be carnival food available for you to purchase too, but the rest is entirely free. And pumpkin decorating and building with Pop Pop, Fall Fest is going to be so much fun and you do not want to miss it. Come in a happy costume and join us. It is going to be so much fun. And guess what? This week, it's National Chocolate Cupcake Ooh. Day. And these look amazing. They do look so good. They're just the perfect size. Yes. I love chocolate <laughs> cupcakes. I hope you are able to enjoy one with your families today, too. That's, That's a wrap, wrap for, for Kids Cup News. News. See, See you, you next week. week. I am so glad that you are here with us today at iCampus Kids. My name is Jean C, and I am so excited to sing and give praise to Jesus with all of you. He is amazing. He is good. He is perfect. And right now, we get the chance to sing his praises. So get on your feet. Let's rock this out together.
for singing the praises of Jesus today. Hi, iCampus kids. I'm Miss Bailey, and I am so glad to be with you today. We are going to start today by playing a listening game. We're going to play different voices, and you have to figure out who they belong to. Are you ready? Who do we have first? It's about God being glorified in our lives through the things that we do. That's our friend Yancy. I love to worship with her. Great job, boys and girls. Who's next? See you next week on I Campus Kids. You guessed it. That's Miss Ashley, Miss Shelly, and Mrs. Teresa on Kids Cove News. Next. I have a question for you. Can somebody tell me what's cooler than being cool? That's Hey Y'all. Let's do one more. We are in Christ. God has already given us everything. I know that voice. That's Dr. Jeffress. He is our pastor. Great job. You all listen so carefully. And in our lesson today, we are going to learn how Moses warned the people not to listen to false prophets. He told the people to only listen to the true prophets from God. We are going to learn today that there is one true, perfect prophet who is the greatest. Do you think you know who that is? That's right. Jesus, of course. Jesus is the one true, perfect prophet. Let's get started. The last few weeks we've been in the New Testament, but today we are going all the way back to one of the Old Testament books. Our Bible story today is found in the book of Deuteronomy. Everyone say Deuteronomy with me. Deuteronomy, great job. Everything that we read in the Bible, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament is real and it is true. The first five books of the Bible in the Old Testament are called the law. The law was given by God so that the Israelites would know how to follow him. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy are the books of the law. Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the Bible, and that's where we'll be today. We believe that Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible, including Deuteronomy. In the Old Testament, Moses led God's people, the Israelites, out of Egypt, through the wilderness, and towards the promised land. Throughout their journey, Moses was a prophet God used to talk to the people about the things of God. Remember, the Israelites did not have the Bible written down like we have today. So the people would have to listen to a prophet to know how God wanted them to live. A prophet was a messenger of God. There were many prophets in the Old Testament. Moses, Elijah, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and others all gave messages from God. They all spoke about how God wanted the people to live, and they all pointed the people towards the Messiah. The prophet said that one day a savior would come and save us all from sin and bring us back to a right relationship with God. Their words came true when Jesus came to the earth. Today, we are going to look at Deuteronomy chapter 18, where Moses tells the people about a better and perfect prophet who would one day come. And of course, we all know that he was talking about Jesus. You can read these verses in your own Bible or follow along on the screen as I read. I'm going to be reading verses 15, 18 through 19 and 21 through 22. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own brothers. You must listen to him. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers. I will put my words in his mouth and he will tell them everything I command him. I will hold accountable whoever does not listen to my words that he speaks in my name. You may say to yourself, how can we recognize a message the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the Lord's name and the message does not come true or is not fulfilled, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Do not be afraid of him. Moses told the Israelites, you must listen to this prophet who is coming. 
Moses also warned the people about false prophets. He said someone might come and pretend to be a prophet. And anyone who speaks a false message or claims to speak for other gods must be stopped. God said he would hold those accountable who did not listen to him and who pretended to be God's messengers, but really were not. But how could the people know if what a prophet spoke was really from the Lord? Moses said, when a prophet speaks and what he says does not come true, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. God said, we do not have to be afraid of those false prophets, those pretending to have a message from God, because God knows everything and he will act for the good of his people. We know that God always keeps his promises and God's words are always true. Jesus is the savior God promised. No other prophet could do what Jesus did for us. His perfect life, death on the cross and resurrection brings us back to a right relationship with God. Jesus is the perfect prophet and God's only son. When we believe in Jesus, we will have eternal life. To wrap up our time together today, let's play a game of left or right. If what I say is true, I want you to jump to the left side of your screen. If what I say is false, I want you to jump to the right side of your screen. Are you ready? Jesus taught people about God. I hope you jump to the left of your screen because that is absolutely true. Jesus did not always listen to God. <laughs> that should be a big jump to the right side. That is false. Jesus did always listen to God. Jesus died to save sinners. Jump back to the left because that is true. He did not stay dead though. Three days later, he rose from that grave. Jesus came to save us and make our relationship with God right again. I hope you stayed on that left side because that is 100% true. Jesus is the perfect prophet. On the left again, yes, he absolutely is the perfect prophet. Great job playing left or right with me today. First Timothy 2, five through six says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind. The man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, a testimony at the proper time. Jesus is the perfect prophet. He is the Messiah, the Savior, the perfect Son of God. Our relationship with God made right again only through Jesus. If you have never prayed to have a personal relationship with Jesus and become a Christian before, follow the link on the screen to watch the gospel presentation by our pastor, Dr. Jeffress. And let us know by emailing us at children at firstdallas.org so that we can celebrate with you. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he is the perfect prophet, the perfect messenger to us. God, we thank you for the Bible and how you have given your words to us to know how to love you and follow you every single day. Help us to honor you in all that we do and in all that we say. Amen. Thank you for joining us today on iCampus Kids. We'll see you next week. It's your good friend, hey y'all. Can somebody say, hey y'all? <laughs> All right. Now, you know, friends, I have a question for you. Can somebody tell me what's cooler than being cool? That's right, it's ice cold. Turn and tell your neighbor, say ice cold. All right. Well, right now, friends, it's time for everybody to get up on your feet because it's time to drive the bus. Can somebody say drive the bus? All right. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say drive the bus, and I need you to be my echo every time I say drive the bus and say it louder and say it good. Say drive the bus. So here we go. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. 
drive the bus. All right, good job, everybody. All right, it's time for us to go. Let's get on the bus. Somebody say, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Okay, friends, get those keys out and go ahead and shake them because we got to find the one key to start the bus. Okay, we found it, so start the bus up. All right, everybody. You know what? But we need some passengers, so open the door and say this with me. Say, come on in, move on back. Say it with me. Come on in and move on back. Close that door. Say, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Okay, up ahead, friends. Oh, you know what? It looks like there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff out in the street and we can't go through it. So what do we got to do? That's right, we got to swerve. Swerve, 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 swerve. Swerve, swerve, swerve. Somebody say, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Oh, friends, up ahead there looks like some weather. Yes, yeah, some weather. So you know what we need to do? We gotta put on the windshield wipers. Windshield wipers, come on. Windshield wipers, come on. Oh yeah, windshield wipers, come on. Windshield wipers. Okay, we're through it. Somebody say, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Great job, everybody. Well, today we learn that Jesus is our perfect prophet. You know, we learn that we need to listen to Jesus. And today we're gonna play a game where you need to listen, okay? And we're gonna play Hum That Tune. So I'm gonna hum a song and you need to listen. And as soon as you think you know what it is, I need you to say, hey y'all. All right, and we'll see if you got it right. Okay, if you're ready, somebody say, oh yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Here's your first song. All right, I'm gonna count you down, and if you got it, you tell me. Here we go. Three, two, one. What was it? Good job, rock a bye baby. Everybody say rock a bye baby. <laughs> all right, good job, all right, that's a good song, all right. Here we go, I got your second song, and if you're ready for your second song, say, oh yeah. All right, here we go. This is a good one. I think you're gonna get this really quick. I think you're gonna get this one in three, and in, in, just gonna take three hums and you're gonna have it. Here we go. Did you get it? All right, let me count you down. Here we go. Three, two, one. What do you think it is? Row, row, row your boat. That's right. Good job. Sing it with me. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Good job, everybody. Good job rowing your boat. All right. You guys did a great job. Now today, I'm going to give you one more bonus one. Okay? So I think you guys can get this because you guys are ready. Here we go. Here's your third bonus one. Here it is. Three, two, one. What do you think it was? Oh, that's right. London Bridge is falling down. That's right. It's a historical song. That's right. You better believe it. That's right. We, we give you all the knowledge here. All right. Sing it with me. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. All right. Good job, everybody. You guys did great today. Thank you guys for being around today. And I'm Hey Ya, your good friend. Can somebody say Hey Ya? All right, all right, and can somebody tell me what's cooler than being cool? That's right, it's ice cold. All right, I'll see you guys next week for more iCampus Kids. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Hey boys and girls, it is so good to see you again today on iCampus Kids. We hope you've had a great time listening to Miss Bailey, hanging out with Hey Ya, and singing with Yancey. Today we talked about how Jesus was the most perfect and final prophet to tell others about God's great love. He did not come to this world just to tell others about his love, but to also bring them to God by dying on the cross and rising again. 
by defeating death. We are going to play a game today, and it's true or false. So we're gonna pull cards from this bag with statements that you will guess if they're true or false. Are you ready? I'm ready, I love this okay. game. Okay, I'll Let's go start. first. Okay, dolphins are fish. True hmm. or false? What do you think, guys? Dolphins, dolphins are, are fish. fish. False. False. I did not know that. That is so cool. Okay, that's really cool. All right. Okay, next. See the next one. Yes. Oops. There's lots in there. There are, okay. Okay, now that's weird. <laughs> Butterflies taste with their feet. I didn't even know they had feet. Do they have feet? Well, I'm they do say because false. it's true. What? Butterflies taste with their feet. Hmm. Good job, everyone. Look I'm this. curious how many of you got that right. I know. Okay. Lion cubs are born with spots. Lion true cubs or false? Born with spots. What do you think? True. True. They it are. is true. Look at that. So fun. That's cool. All right. Let's do. You want to do one more? Yeah. Okay. Bears live in the Arctic. That doesn't sound right. False. It's very cold there. False. Polar bears, bears live in the Arctic. What? Oh, I guess polar bears. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Polar bears. Yeah. Oh, so fun. Thank you for joining us today. See, See you next, next week on iCampus Kids. Kids. I want to remind you as we get ready to sing this next song together that you can be confident in giving praise and worshiping God. The Bible tells us so many amazing things about who Jesus is and the things that he has done. And just like we learned today, he is perfect and he is worthy of our praise. And so today, I just want to challenge you, wherever you are, as you join in and worship with us, you can be confident in giving our perfect God praise above anything else in this world. I want my life to bring glory to the name of Jesus. Let's do that together as we make these words our prayer today. Take this heart and draw it close to you. Let this life be for your glory. Take this stretch them to what's true your faithfulness it is our testimony oh our creation sings that's us a song of praise and thanksgiving we
You're so amazing, Jesus. Thank you for being perfect. We love you.